you through the soup here. Um, we're just gonna dump everything down into a big old soup pot. I like olive oil for this, but if you prefer, you could use the avocado oil that uh, Carrie was talking about mm -hmm. earlier in the show. Just enough to coat the bottom of the pan. A big old Dutch oven uh, is what I'm working in here, and I've got my temperatures at about medium high. To that, I'm going to add three large peeled potatoes, three parsnips peeled and diced in the same shape and size, so they have the same cook time, and my secret ingredient in the soup to make it sweeter, because a parsnip's a little bit spicy. Mm -hmm. It's, my friend Emily calls it a carrot with an attitude. <laughs> so to balance um, the parsnips, I throw in one peeled apple, a honey crisp apple. I love that you put an apple in soup. Apples, That's fantastic. Uh, parsnips, and potatoes. Yeah. Oh my, right? Yum. Uh, little salt, right? Over the shoulder for luck. A little bit of pepper. A hint of nutmeg. A couple of fresh bay leaf. Some crushed cloves of garlic, a small handful of garlic. And we're gonna puree this later, so just throw everybody into the, into the hot tub, basically. One large or two medium onions, and a few ribs of celery with the leafy tops, and a little bundle of herbs. I like sage and thyme for this, so I'm gonna throw in a bundle of herbs. And because I used an apple, my other secret ingredient is apple brandy. <laughs> so, yeah. what I do is, Bob, I put the lid on this and I sweat the vegetables, get the liquids to come out of the vegetables and the apple. Mm -hmm. Then it looks like this. At this point, you add in your apple brandy, one turn of the pan, and an entire quart of vegetable stock and a couple of extra cups of water and let that simmer until everybody's very, very tender. Okay, now we're going to walk you through grilled cheese. I'm ready. Grilled What's cheese funny day. About this? <laughs> What's funny about this is last time Bob was here, a couple times back actually, <laughs> I showed him how to make a grilled cheese. He's standing right next to me. We had identical setups. <laughs> and I showed him how to make it, and then I said, now you make one, and it was a hot mess. I lost my train of thought. All of a sudden, I'm like, wait, what am I doing right now? <laughs> we are making a marble uh, whole grain bread. Love it. So pumpernickel and a dark rye. Uh, we're going to use that as our bread choice. You want to get a cast iron skillet or griddle, medium hot, not too hot, or the outside will be done before the cheese gets melty. We're going to combine ripe pears with, uh, you could do any combination of cheese you like. I have Swiss and Fontino. I thought mm. that was nice with pears. Um, the first thing you want to do with a round object is give it feet. So we're going to trim off a piece of the pear so we can stand it up. So now it's nice and stable. Yep. Now we're going to very thinly slice the pear lengthwise working nice and slow until you get to the core. Then you spin the pear around and thinly slice the other side of the pear. Am I'm I do such a good job with this. I'm okay. concentrating. Are you still with me? I am. Okay. So now we have our thinly sliced pear. Lovely. When you build any grilled cheese sandwich, you want even butter distribution. So you take a very little bit of butter and evenly spread it just very lightly all over the bread and build it buttered sides out. That way you have exactly even butter distribution on both sides of your grilled cheese. Are we good so yep. far? Yep. Okay, now the essential part of grilled cheese is the cheese. So you need to put it on both the top and the bottom. So we're going to go, we're gonna roll Swiss down here. And to heck with it, we've done nothing but talk about healthy, healthy, healthy all show. I'm using four slices. <laughs> We've gone through 17 great tips for 2017. Um, I think we should call it 18, because this soup is vegan, it's delicious, it's very nutritious, and it makes you feel less guilty about dunking grilled cheese in it. This is a potato parsnip soup with apple, laced uh. with a little brandy. And I want you to see how creamy, look I how I can't creamy. believe there's no cream in it. Not a drop of that. cream in that. Look how rich and thick that soup is. You try that while I'm cutting up your perfectly grilled cheese. Now, to go along with it, just for Bob, because I promised him a grilled cheese, we're going to wow. take 
Isn't that I mean, amazing? it's amazing. It's like there's cream in it, but there's not. Isn't it amazing? It's perfect. So, we also took, mm. we also took marble, um, dark pumpernickel, and whole oh. grain rye bread. Look at and that. And filled it with Swiss and Fontina and pears. Mm -hmm. Give yeah. me that back. I like, I like to cut the grilled cheese into little sticks like this because it makes it easier for dunking like that. Yes. That's for you, baby. Uh.